Happy Pride, James. How are you? I'm good. Happy Pride to you, too. Congratulations on being a part of Queerty's Pride 50. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, really touched. I'm just sort of bowled over by that. So thank y'all. Of course, we love to celebrate. What's your favorite thing about Pride Month and how do you celebrate? I tend to go to wherever city I'm in. I try to go to the parade. But I also try to spend that time like reminding myself of the history. Like I don't want to forget the sacrifices that my queer ancestors um had to make so that I could be very boldly and freely who I am today. I love that. And honestly, it's those sacrifices right there that allow for us to be so proud of being who we are. Why does being a part of the LGBTQ plus community make you so proud? Because we're survivors. You know, we are resilient. We are the spark of creation and culture in many instances. But I also think that it's a community that historically has found ways to like take care of each other and so being a part of that community in the same way that being a part of the black community i have a great deal of pride because in spite of every obstacle we find our ways to exist boldly beautifully and authentically in the world i love being a queer person i love that um my art get allows me to talk about those issues that are in our community and it just feels like a real blessing to me Speaking of your art, your Pulitzer Prize winning, Tony Award nominated <laughs> play, Fat Ham, receiving all the flowers it truly deserves. <laughs> Talk about it. Fat Ham is mm. uh, a celebration of all things Black, queer, and Southern. And as, you know, two Southern girls from North Carolina, we understand that. Um, for you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What does that mean to you to be able to bring that to theater, to bring Blackness, queerness, and Southerness to the stage? You know, as much as I can, I try to be a good steward of Black culture, of queer culture. The fact that this play has reached such a wide audience feels like um, a real change for me. And celebration is, I think, like a really powerful tool for liberation. And so the, the the fact that the play is like reaching these folks and that people are coming back and that there are folks who are coming up to me after the show and saying, I've never seen someone that looks like me in a kind of story like this on stage before. That, you know, th that is like a mini celebration every time I have that experience with someone. It just feels like, yes, mm -hmm. like I'm glad that a thing that I made is like having an impact on people. As someone who has seen the beauty that is Fat Ham, I can say it is definitely giving a resounding yes. It was giving yes all the way. <laughs> Why do you think it's more important now than ever to celebrate Pride Month and be proud of it? Because well, we are in a real inflection point. You know, queer people, um, specifically our uh, trans siblings, our non-binary siblings, um, are under attack in many parts of the country. It's very scary time. And I want to be a part of the energy that's trying to depict us with humanity, with authenticity, with specificity. And I think that those things actually do a good job of combating the negative images of who we are and how we're existing in the world. And so I think theater at its best reinforces the notion that we're not by ourselves, that we're not alone. There's not just one of us, we are many, mm. and we're not going anywhere.